Innovation and engineering are all going hand by hand. The definition of engineering is nothing but application of natural sciences. In APSOI 171, engineering, drawing, and CAD CAM, our students get the snapshot of an engineering project. They start from a problem, and then a volcano of ideas coming through, and then they have brainstorming all the ideas, they find the best solution, and the next step would be they use computer modeling to make a more tangible solution, and eventually they have to make a prototype of what ideas they came up with. This year problem was helping elderly citizens with day-to-day -day tasks. Something as simple as opening a can of soup, or opening a jar of jam, or tying your shoes. I'm very proud of the students because this year they came up with several very systematic, feasible, and practical solutions. The Engineering One competition was an exciting opportunity to work with industry standards, to be able to have our own idea and to be able to work with a team. We had the opportunity to take some of our ideas and turn them into real products and real ideas that could be used out in industry. It was a really good opportunity to take what you have and make it work. At UBCO, you get a lot of experiences to work in groups, and so you build your communication skills, you build your leadership skills, you build your presenting skills when you're presenting with your group. I was truly impressed, first of all, students with very little or no background in engineering design, slash drawing, modeling, they came up with these ideas. I believe that shows that younger generation are capable of do whatever they want as long as they have the opportunity. Being recognized as the winning group, it was an honor. It helped us realize that we have more opportunities out there. This is just one competition and we have more opportunities to create ideas and to innovate the world using our ideas in the future. I think one of the primary goals as educators is to make our students ready for the challenges they will be facing when they graduate and become full-fledged engineers. Most probably they end up working in a company that they have to design something. And I've been judging and coordinating these competitions for the last five years, and every year I can see the level of competition. It's going to be higher, the bar is going to be raised higher, it's more challenging. And every time I ask myself, it can be better than this? Is it the top? Can they top this? But the next year, students come and they surprise me.